because they are right here to join us, and so is Mark Haggard there with Jamie Snyder. And uh, where's Levi at? I want him to report. He's right there. Okay, well, go when he gets done, you hand him the mic because he's pretty solid at it, my friend. Oh, really? Uh, hey, I saw it. I saw it on Media Day. So Levi has got to close us out. Okay, Levi I'll keep can that in mind. Levi out. He's pretty solid at that. But, uh, he is. hey, good win, you guys, tonight. Solid outing. Congratulations, Coach. I am with the undefeated Loris Lions and head coach Jamie Snyder, his team. We've got the cheerleaders here. We've got some parents here. And, of course, a very solid coaching staff. We can't forget about that. 2-0, and Loris. But let's begin with a cheer from the Lions cheerleaders. Ladies, a 1 and a 2 and a 3. Love it. That's very good. Go end zone. Jamie Snyder, 2 0. Boy, a slobber knocker tonight. 14 7 against your arch rivals. You lost to this squad last year. Yes, we did, Hags. I was real proud of how hard we played tonight. Our defense came to play. Coach Grady and the defensive staff did a great job and, and held them in check on offense for most of the night. But really proud for us to be able to go up there and get that W tonight. Now, how did you do it? How did you go about it? I, Ed Piotrowski shot that game, by the way, our, our meteorologist. Uh, how did we do what? Win the game? How did you win the game? Great defense. We won the turnover margin, okay? And then in the second half, even though we had struggled on offense, we were able to close it out on offense and not give them another shot. We made them waste their timeouts, the previous possession, and then when we got it back, we knew if we got a few first downs, the game was over, and we were able to come through. So, defense. Absolutely. So I'm guessing that the HTC game ball is going to go to a defensive player. You would be correct, Tags. And that player's name is? Jordan Hemingway, defensive lineman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give him that ball. Oh, yeah. Jordan, coach tells me you had 10 total tackles tonight, three tackles for loss. Let's talk about the line of scrimmage. The stuff that goes on in the trenches that nobody recognizes but the end zone does. Uh, Coach Grady, he, been t he told me this is going to be a big game for me. and I got to step up for the team, man. I mean, the line of scrimmage, I, I dominated. I had to help out the team. You did dominate. Let's talk about Coach Grady a little bit. A great Coastal Carolina player, uh, one of the best in the history of the school at Coastal. And he's somebody you want to listen to. What type of things has he told you technique-wise to get you better? You're a big guy. You're going to push some people around. But there's certain things, footwork, a lot of people don't realize. Can you tell people what it takes to be a great defensive lineman? Hard work and just you, gotta, you have to be able to come out the ball hard and you got to be able to take your coaching. And if you can't take a coaster, then, I mean, you can't be a great defensive lineman. And has he taught you the famous swim move, his swim move? Of course. <laughs> yes, sir. Any colleges looking at you? Uh, right now, Gardner Webb, Limestone, it's a couple others. Fantastic. Well, yes, keep working hard. 2-0, and oh, that's off to a good start. And the Lions now will have to go to and play another rivalry game next week, going to Tabor City just over the border to play South Columbus. Absolutely. That's another rival game for us. It'll be a hard-fought battle up there, always on the road. So we will, we will have our hands full, but hopefully we'll have a great week of practice and be ready to go next Friday. What else? What else you got for me? That's it, Hags. That's all I got. What you? I, you know what? I went. I was up at the school this week. Everybody is jacked up about the Loris Lions football team now. Well, you know, I, I think that is something that we've started, and and we've had a little success there. And, and this group right here is taking it to heart. That um, we lost a lot of seniors last year, and this group's really taking it to heart. That they're not going to let it fall on their watch. And and so far, they've done a great job of that. You've got two more games before the open week, and then you start region play. Absolutely. We, uh, we play two weeks. We have an open day, and then we start at uh, – then we play Georgetown, and then we start region play. So it's coming. It's coming in a hurry. Absolutely. How about Levi Moody now? I promised Brandon. Levi, stand up. You gonna, you, let, let me see what you got. You going to close us out? Toss it back to Brandon. Well, well Brandon, I'm standing here with uh, Loris Lyons, and um, – well, Loris, I want you to yell so hard that everybody in Loris hears you. Good, 
Good job. Good job there, Good Levi job. Moody. Congratulations to the Loris Lions. And once again, thank you to Sonic for uh, providing the hamburgers tonight to, to feed the Lions on their victory after taking care of North Myrtle Beach. If it wasn't for you guys, they would definitely be starving on the way home. So thank you very much to Sonic.